Hello and welcome uh, to another uh, terrain video. Uh, this is going to be a multi-part series, uh, three parts, got three parts planned, to making a dwarven outpost, uh, specifically uh, Ravenhill, for use in the uh, there and back again scenario uh, ambush at Ravenhill. Now this is played on a two by two board, so this is going to govern. Uh, how big it's going to be, obviously going to fit on the 2x2 two two board. I'm uh, looking for inspiration and I come across this picture from um, Weta. It's like their previous model they made for, made for Ravenhill. And what I decided to do is look at this picture and sort of make, broke it down. I sort of cut crop bits out and put them onto layers and so I could remove bits and extend bits on the pictures like hopefully what you see in, uh, on the screen now if I remember to uh, edit this in. Uh, we're going to be making this section here, um, this section here, the plinth and a few other little bits and pieces in this video. The next video is going to be covering uh, the bridge you see here and then the final video is going to be what this is all about being it's December and it's a bit snowy, well, it's not actually just cold. <laughs> um, anyway, we're going to be making use, using this video to cover snow, uh, putting snow on your terrain. So that'll be the th third and final part. So uh, yeah, let's just get on with the build. Uh, before we get going with the build, I should just add that this uh, project it, you, sh you shouldn't find it anything you know, too difficult to do. So probably going to give it a difficulty rating of one. I do use some old GW scenery that come with the first edition of the game, so if you don't have that you may have to add the detailing yourself which you can end up difficulty to two, but it's still not that bad, you're only scoring into foam. So yes, let's crack on with the build. To begin construction from uh, uh, for the Ravenhill Ruin, a basic one, a piece of uh, foam, six more fig, five inches by four inches, and this is going to go on the side. We need one that's seven inches by six inches. That's going to go on the back. So we'll go there. You need another bit that is four inches and then about six and three quarters. And that'll be the other side. And then you're going to need a floor piece which is five inches by six and three quarters. That will sit. I like that. And that's one side. And that's you know, how it's going to basically look. We put those bits. We take this side first, which is the first bit. So again, this is five inches by uh, four inches. That's four inches. That's five inches. Now, I've had these train bits for years. Now these come with the first box set and they're av available separately after that. I've had a few of these and I've never known really what to do with them. So I'm going to use them as a bit of detail on the door. So, so what I'll do in a minute is I'm going to just place it here, draw around the door here, cut it out and glue this on. But if you don't have any of these it's no problem. You just draw a door a similar shape to this, it's a rectangle with the corners taken out. Cut that out and you could then afterwards uh, add some detail in, add a bit of detail in for the ruin. I've got it around the For the ruin. There we go, that's better. If you wanted to, uh, just just as we sort of done before in various bits and pieces, just get a get a pen, score it in, like we've done with brickwork in the past. It's not a big deal, I'm just using these because I've had them for years and I thought this might be perfect. Uh, so I'm going to do that, I'm going to draw a door there and I'm also going to draw a pattern along here like where the walls crumbled away. So I'll do that now and cut the door out and then see where, see where we're at. That's the basic shape cut out. If you are interested in about doing a door, by the way it's about 2 inches by 2 inches and then come down half an inch on the corners to corner it off. Now all I'm going to do now is, where well, I've made this cut, I'm just going to get a knife. So I'm just going to rough the edges up so it's not perfectly straight. That's the 
and do that and I'll do the same on this side like so it means if it's not too serious we're going to give it a finish later on with some mod rock and, and so forth but it just it will add to it you'll, know, you'll notice this step if you don't do it it's just to take off any of the uh, square edging just something like that just so we don't have you know, I want it to look like it's collapsed over time but that's that and then just going to use just going to stick it on with PVA what I'm going to do now is just stick that on and put that to one side to dry but again if you don't have this just do some sort of uh, your own sort of door cut out your own door and just add a bit of detail in you can see other guides on if you haven't watched them already about how we use a pen just to do, add some uh, detail in into this foam stuff I just always thought these looked quite dwarven when, when we first got them in the, uh, in the game there we go it's a bit of PVA to temporarily hold it in place and so we're going to use some mod rock a bit later on make sure it stands up and that's the side wall done so I've cut out the back and the other side in much the same way just gave it a ruined look on a jagged look on the back one thing to note is that on the back what I've done I think see this is well, it's going to join here I've made it so it links here and then on the side here it's going to be likewise it meets up I've just left about so it comes up uh, where is, it's going to be about half an inch here of being flat there and it's about let's do just have a quick, quick double check if it's gone two and a half inches high here and it's just a little bit where I've just levelled it off that's just for the end wall that was going to be planned to be nice as well in the original so there's those but before we glue it together I want to work on uh, the steps and then we can actually I might I might actually glue it in to make it easier now so I'm going to quickly just glue what I've got to do is on this terrain bit if you do have some of these you have a little ridge there that's where a fake wall went in just gonna wanna put this in and push it in so it leaves an indentation in you can see that on the cable and then I'm just gonna cut that out a bit obviously if you're not using these terrain bits, you don't have to do this. So hack it out a bit. Just so I can get the flush and sit, make it sit flush. But I said, you may not have to worry about this too much. So that should, yeah, it just helps it make it sit flush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this here and this to there. Now, and the floor's going to go in here if it's not on the floor with my design you have to just trim this corner off so I wanted it to look like it's all come off in the corner so I'll do that now I start to glue the walls in and I've put the base on the floor the floor at the base of it just so I can get the angles correct but also what I'm going to do is grab a pin I'm just gonna it's gonna be difficult to do on camera so you can see as well it's gonna push it through so it doesn't come out either side just to really hold it in place. Especially this back wall here. So what we're gonna do it just strengthens the construction so push that in like so. Do the same at the bottom here. Just gonna make sure it doesn't come through 
that to come through if you don't want. If ever that happens, you just push it back out and try again. So I shall continue to do this, probably off camera is going to be best because you can, I can actually really see what I'm doing. I'm often worrying about trying to get it on camera, but yeah, just something like that. So I've got pins in, it means you can hold it in place where it's gluing, and all you've got to worry about is it's gluing at the correct angle <coughs> rather than it falling apart. So I'll carry on. So before we glue the floor in, I just want to get a rock and do what we've done many videos before. Just, just want a bit of texture into it just to stop it looking perfectly smooth. We've got different rocks, use them for different patterns you're going to get from them. I don't want to go too deep, just to just get a little bit of indentation. That's when it's painted and we're going to put a snow flock on it. It's going to look more natural rather than just like it's been there for a few hundred years. Yeah, so that's that. That's all I want to do. Bit of pattern there. Um, now, floor needs to do from the bottom sit two and a quarter inches up. So on the inside, I've marked a line there so that when I put the floor in, so I know it's got to sit, but on that line, it's got to sit like that. Uh, but before I do that, what I want to do is rough this corner up so I'm just going to mark the thing now cut that out and just do what we did sort of to the walls and that little bit there just want it to be so the floor's giving way yes like that that's what I want so now I'm going to come in with some glue glue along the edges put it in so onto the uh, line so do it just slightly away from the camera just so I can see so, and now what we're going to do, this will help the drying process, but also strengthen it for when you put models on. Pins again. So we're going to come in here, make sure it's exactly the way we want it. Push your pin through. I hope it's not come through, which it hasn't. I'm going to do that Just in various places around. Here, that where it needs to go. Push your ping round, some one there. One on the bottom here. After a while, you become an expert lining these things up by eye, and that's it. I'm going to put one in couple in the back I can do that off camera. And that's your floor. So now it's basically we're really taking shape that quick. It's not too difficult to make. I'll do the pins and then we're gonna work on the steps here. Next you're gonna want four bits of foam that are seven and three quarters inches long and one and three quarters uh, wide. And then put one side. On one you're gonna come back quarter of an inch at the end so another bit you're going to come back half an inch and another bit you're going to come back three quarters of an inch and then what you're going to do on those bits is you're going to cut those bits off but don't get rid of the uh, off cut put those to one side okay. 
all you're going to do is when you're done, you're just going to take the long bit, put them in order, and you're just going to glue them together like so, and that will form a stair platform. Uh, now you're going to take your off cuts and another bit, the same width but an inch, and you can do something similar. You know? Glue them like so, and what that will do is that will sit something a bit like uh, where is it? I'll do it that way. Something a bit like this on the platform. And you glue them all together so that when your your things here, you'll be able to get up on it. Like that. So I shall get on and do that now. Just a little uh, error fix on that last bit I've just covered. It should be five bits of these, and on the top one you come back a whole inch, and that's how you got your inch platform there. But I'd already prepared the top one <coughs> and forgot to, forgot I'd done it because I pre-prepared this a few days ago, so I'm just doing it on camera now. So sorry about that, but. I shall glue them all together now. But before I do that, you need another set of stairs. Uh, now these, what these are going to do, is these will sit at the end of the platform like so. Like so. Um, so yeah, I turn it the wrong way. But yeah, so they're going to go like here, like so. At the end, so you can get up to the uh, platform there as well. Uh, these just made in a very similar way, except you have one base bit that is uh, two and a quarter inches, one bit that is going to be two, and then quarter of an inch less, quarter of an inch less, and again you just glue those on. So I shall do that now. Because I envision this ruin and um, Raven Hill to be sort of almost built from the hill itself, I want to get a bit of a rock surface going on the back here, at the side, and maybe just coming round this bit of wall here. And it's fairly easy to do. Get some uh, screwed up paper watch the um, bonfire video it's going to be very similar to something we did there. What we're going to do is just get a bit of screwed up paper like so, get some masking tape, can't find the end, typical. Nope, can't find the end, brilliant. Get some masking tape and it's going to hold it in place. Just while you're building up the uh, Place. Some more. I'm just going to sort of just roughly put it in places. Doesn't have to be uh, perfect or anything. Just like so. What you want to do is also make sure you get the peaks here. I guess, say, so get a smaller bit like that. Place it in there. Because uh, of the very nature, design nature of masking tape, it won't hold on there for particularly long. Uh, but we're not too worried because we're not, not going to have it on there particularly uh, long either. So, what I'll do is I'm going to go through. Do the rest of this, the rest of this, and put, maybe put a little bit down there. And that's it covered in paper and masking tape. Just a little bit on the side there. And now what we're going to do is cover it in mod rock. And that's a messy job, so I'm going to get a, a wooden board on here that I use for such things so I don't ruin this map. And we'll crack on with that. Just in case you haven't watched previous videos, you might be wondering what mod rock is. So this stuff, it's effectively plaster on a roll. Um, it's stuff that if you broke your uh, an arm or a leg, the 
wrap it up in while it heals. What you're going to want to do is cut it into little strips, about an inch, inch or so long, uh, get, and then just submerge it in some water, some lukewarm water I find best for a few seconds. And all you do is, once it's submerged for a while, you just come on. I'm going to start from the top because I want it to be, start holding it in place. And you just sort of rub it in. And then what you want to do is you'll notice there'll be uh, sort of holes in the plaster. You're going to want to come in and try and uh, get rid of as many holes as that as possible, or as possible. And it'll probably take a few layers, but you can apply the layering while it is wet, it doesn't take that long to, to get sort of touch dry before you can start applying another layer. So I'm only going to go on the outside, but you also want to do top skew of those. Like so. And this would take between 24 and 48 hours, depending on how wet you're getting it at this stage. Looks like that. Right. I'll just do a few more on camera. It's difficult for me because it's all upside down and backwards. Hopefully, you'll. There. So it might take a few, a few layers. Just make sure we're getting rid of all the holes. Like so. Yeah, so what I'll do. I'm going to go around and cover all this up. So this is all covered in mock rock, it's still not dry yet, so I'm letting it dry. But what I want to do now, is I want to glue the steps in. Now I've got the mock rock in, all the, it's all being held in place. And then once that's dry, the glue's dry, I want to get some mock rock, just come around the corner and do the front of the steps here so you don't see this joint. So that is what I'm going to do now. And then I'll come back when all, when all that's all done. And that will pretty much be it made. There'll just be a few other little bits of detailing to do. With the mod rocking stage complete, it's just one little uh, building stage doing that's just to put some glue around here and on the steps and just put some sand there. I'll quickly do that now. Just leave that to one side and let the uh, and then shake off any excess. First stage of painting, as always, is to undercoat in black. For most of it, I've used Mod Podge and uh, black paint. Apart from my little plastic detail here, I just did it with black paint because I didn't want to cover up too much of the detail. Now we're just going to paint it various shades of grey. Um, just different, different shades of grey. I'll show you the greys I've used after I've done it. The painting is now complete. Uh, it was given a uh, heavy dry brushing of this grey here, which is uh, called Flintstone. 
Uh, and one thing to note is on the areas of mock rock, it's not a problem because it's lovely and textured. And on these bits here, not a problem. So you just dry brush over. But on the bits we have exposed foam, it's best not to do brush strokes, but to give it a sort of stippling effect. Otherwise, it just it just looks better doing a stippling effect. Then after that. I used this grey here, so this sort of grey, and this is called Storm Cloud, just to give a highlight. And so that's the uh, that's the painting. Using the techniques that have just been outlined in, in the video, we got you can make other pieces for the uh, outpost, such as this piece here, which is about nine inches by the same sort of height. And it just has a platform here. It's just made from foam, stairs using the same technique, another door here, it's just mod rock to the back. And this is so it all here's the piece we've made in the video, and it will just fit up together like so. That's gonna look go together like that. So there's those pieces that go together. Uh, and but I wanted both of those pieces to be raised up. So I've made a sort of base plimp thing. On this side it's going to be clear because we're going to have a bridge that comes off it here and some stairs here. This side's just got a little opening here and then the other sides are just mod rocked. Which is used in the same techniques we covered in the video. To give you some dimensions there. It's the actual um, foam was 16 inches and by sort of nine and a half inches and what will happen hopefully if I can get this in camera is this bit that we've made will sit there and the other bit just being outlined will sit on the top here so, whoop, the camera. so it just sits on like that but we're gonna need a way to get up there so I just made a set of stones out of some foam, <laughs> not that off, and they'll just go there. Luckily it's mod rock, so it's quite hard wearing. That goes like that. I said so we're going to have a bridge coming off here, we're going to make in the next video. I also had some foam left over, had some bits of uh, scenery left over, so I just made that, or just, I don't know, be, thrown, be used as sort of scattering somewhere. And that's that's it for the basic build. Um, in the next video, we're going to cover making the bridge. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it, and subscribe to the channel for more great content. Game on, and continue to support our wonderful hobby.